now for a little cruise control. So if you're thinking about a vacation at sea, then you're going to want to meet the queen of cruising. She's 81-year-old Eileen Weiner, and she spent the equivalent of seven years aboard ships, making her the perfect person for some advice before you get your sea legs ready for sailing. If you add all the days, it is seven years, but I didn't do it all at one time. Okay, okay. Eileen Weiner didn't spend seven consecutive years on board a cruise ship, but sailing more than 2,560 days is a record in anybody's book. Weiner's passion for the high seas began about 30 years ago. Once I started cruising, I just became hooked on it. So how much cruising does Eileen, who's retired, fit into a single year? It varies, but I would say four, five, six months a year. Spending that much time cruising begs the question, what's the big attraction, Eileen? I love cruises because you get there once, unpack, and you don't have to worry every day where you're going to be sleeping or where you're going for dinner. Everything is just right there. My days are filled, there's always evening activities, and I usually meet a lot of nice people. That's an understatement, because two years ago, Eileen's transatlantic cruise to Scandinavia turned into... That's when Eileen met 76-year-old Carl Cutting. It probably was a love boat experience, <laughs> yes. We really met August 17 through a mutual friend and um, we've been together since. With so much experience aboard ship, Eileen's got a few tips for the novice cruiser. To get more bang for your buck, leave from a port closest to your home. If you wanted to cruise a lot and stayed away from long airline flights, you could keep your course down. What about those drink packages the cruise lines offer? Eileen says use common sense. Figure how many drinks a day you're going to have. If you're going to have more than what you're paying per day for the package, then of course I guess it's a very good buy. And perhaps the most important of all? I'm a proponent of insurance on all cruises, especially leaving the country. Despite all the recent news of cruising catastrophes, Eileen says she's never had a bad experience. I have never been frightened to get on a ship. I have complete faith in the cruise line, they're not going to put their ship and their passengers in harm's way. This year, Eileen's prepping for a world cruise and says it's all in keeping with her love for the big ships and the motto she lives by. Cover the earth before it covers you. Some other fun facts about cruise ships. Did you know the largest ship is taller than a 20-story building? And last year's number one cruise destination was Glacier Bay, Alaska. Hmm.